Hello everyone. So in this video let's talk about zinc based batteries. So zinc batteries are really awesome because zinc is cheap, is environment friendly and you can also get really good performance. That's why I'm also very interested uh, to make research and development on this type of battery. So the battery need to have really good specifications. For example, need to have really good capacity, uh, need to be safe, uh, need to be cheap and also if you make rechargeable batteries need, need to have really good cycles which are really stable. Uh, but in this video I will talk about increasing the capacity of zinc batteries. So many zinc batteries, for example, uh, some batteries which you can buy in the store are these zinc, uh, zinc carbon batteries and you also have many zinc arm batteries which are uh, currently uh, in development uses uh, zinc metal for the negative electrode. So the zinc metal I have also here. So if you make a battery which use uh, zinc metal for the negative electrode and uh, the positive electrode is from uh, some manganese dioxide uh, mixed together with some uh, carbon black, you will get really good uh, battery. But the active surface is only what you see here. So it's really important uh, also to increase the surface area of your negative electrode uh, to increase the capacity of your battery. So if you see here this area is really really smooth but if you look with the mic microscope you will see so tiny hills. And yeah this is your active surface for your battery and also you will get some limitations of uh, the capacity. Uh, to increase the capacity of your battery you also need to increase the surface area. So instead of using a zinc plate like this one you can also use zinc powder which is really really awesome. If you use zinc powder you will increase uh, the surface area of your negative electrode and also you will increase the capacity of your battery. So make your uh, negative electrode from zinc powder and you will increase the capacity uh, really really good. So guys but this is not the end you can also increase the capacity of your batteries even further. But in this case you need to use uh, zinc powder together with carbon black. Like this one, this is the team call uh, Super P, it's really really awesome. Uh, or this one, Super C. Uh, 65 for example so the point what I will to say is you need to make uh, your negative electrode of your battery with zinc powder uh, in combination with carbon black but you need to know uh, what is really important by make this electrode uh, is uh, you need to measure the correct way of each material so you cannot only put I don't know some grams of zinc powder and some grams of uh, carbon black mixed together and you will uh, and you hope that you will get really awesome capacity because if you add too many carbon black uh, into the mix 
you will decrease the capacity and this is really important so the really good way to make this battery I mean to make this electrode is to use 4.4 uh, grams of uh, zinc powder and 0 0.09 grams of carbon black like I said you can use whatever you want these two are really awesome uh, this one works uh, slightly better like this one but okay so I will repeat one more time uh, you need to uh, make correct measurement of each material uh, 4.4 grams is the zinc powder and 0 0.09 grams is the uh, carbon black so guys here I have this test cell here I have zinc metal with uh, zinc powder and you see the voltage is 1.4 volts and this this is the voltage which you will get from this cell uh, so first of all uh, I will test uh, the current Then uh, amps and I get 240 uh, milli uh, milliamps uh, peak current and now I will make a test with electronic load here I have uh, connected my test cell to this electronic load the constant current load is 30 milliamps and the cutoff voltage is 0 0.9 volts so probably I will skip uh, when the voltage will be 1 volt yeah, and we have almost uh, 80 minutes here is this test cell with um, negative electrode made from zinc powder and uh, carbon black so the voltage is 1.4 volts uh, and the current three hundred milliamps really good and now I will test uh, this battery uh, on the electronic load and now I will run the second test cell on this electronic load and I will see uh, what will be the time uh, for this cell so the last cell was this time and I will see uh, if we get some improvement if we add some uh, carbon black yeah I think we have a little improvement because uh, the first test cell uh, the starting voltage was below 1.2 volts and this one is a little bit better so again I will discharge this uh, battery uh, on 1 volt I forget to set uh, the cutoff voltage but anyway when the when the, uh, when the battery hits 
one uh, one uh, one volt then I will stop so I will skip this one and we see us in the end so I hit one uh, volt and yeah clearly you can see uh, the improvement stop uh, this cell uh, I mean the cell with the negative electrode made from zinc powder and uh, carbon black uh, actually work uh, you see the runtime 24 minutes which is really really awesome here's the test cell it's really bad uh, a bad made cell but anyway this is just uh, a test cell and for demonstrating purpose uh, also you get more power if uh, the electrode are more closely if you add carbon black to uh, zinc powder you will improve the capacity and also the power and like I said uh, if you if the electrode are more closely together uh, you will get also more power but this one is just the test cell and nothing else uh, so I don't know if this one is rechargeable uh, I will not test this right now but I don't know if this one is rechargeable uh, because I use uh, alkaline uh, electrolyte which is potassium hydroxide uh, 6 mol of potassium hydroxide uh, and water this method I mean this electrode which is zinc uh, zinc powder together with uh, carbon black you can also use in some uh, zinc ion technology which means the electrolyte will be I mean uh, the construction will be almost the same like this one but that instead of potassium hydroxide you will use some I don't know zinc uh, sulfate for example and you will make some uh, how to say zinc ion battery so guys if you have some interest uh, try to make some uh, different battery technology with this setup uh, for example try to use I mean try to make some uh, aluminium battery with aluminium powder and something like this uh, and yeah leave a comment below and we will see what will we get out from this one so this was really nice uh, this carbon actually works in uh, in the negative electrode and yeah that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye